Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Bianca Skogan Beauty. I'm so glad to have you guys here today. Today is a very special video. First of all, happy Halloween. It's Halloween, yay! Second of all, this is a collaboration video, which is my first collaboration video ever. So it's a big deal for me. I was invited by Dubs Beauty to be a part of a big collaboration video for this Halloween. And I, of course, said yes. The video collaboration was made by Melissa Nadaline, and we're just doing a big collaboration with some creators, and we're doing a Halloween tag collaboration. And I was like, yes, that is so me. I love makeup, I love holidays, I love Halloween. It's perfect for me. And so I was so excited to be a part of this. It's going up on Halloween, and I'm just I'm thrilled. I'm wearing my Halloween kitty cat sweater. I'm just, I'm excited. And I'm going to be doing a Halloween makeup look with the, the Nomad Ghost Town USA palette, which I believe everybody else is mostly going to be using this palette. We were allowed to use any palette, but they suggested this one. And I have this one. And it has the cool ventricular motion. Oh, I think it's up and down is where it works. Yeah. And so I'm going to be using this palette. I could do a palette bingo or just come up with a look myself. But, you know, they're very neutral colors. And I have a look in mind, so I'm not going to do palette bingo. I'm just going to do a look. And we're also going to a fall festival tonight with my family. And so I'd rather do the look that I want to have for later than a palette bingo. So if any of you guys are coming from those other channels, you are subscribers from Melissa Nadaline or from Dubs Beauty or from any other people that are collaborators with this tag, I am so excited to have you guys. Welcome to my video. Welcome to Bianca Skogan Beauty. I hope that you stay because I try to have a good time here. <laughs> All right, well, should we get into the video? I've got 13 questions to answer. They're Halloween kind of spooky questions. And I just, I guess I should warn you if, if some of you guys know me or some of you don't, I'm a wuss. <laughs> I don't like horror movies. I don't like haunted houses, but I do love Halloween. I decorate my house. It is, it is chock full of decorations. Like this is just my bathroom. So if my bathroom is this decorated, you might be able to imagine the rest of my house, how decorated it is. It is decorated right now, like a combination of like harvest and fall and Halloween. It's just packed full of both. There's bats everywhere in my house. <laughs> I have 13 spooky 13 questions to answer and I have a look to do. So my face, I only have primer on right now and we're going to get to it. If that sounds exciting to you. Then you are in the right place and consider subscribing to my channel. Okay. So let's start with a foundation. This is the Fenty Ease Drop Foundation. I am almost done with this one. And so I'm trying to actually use up a foundation. I haven't used up a foundation since before I started this channel which was over three years ago. So it's, it's time. Did you guys hear it? Oh, I spilled some. Did you guys hear it? Like the air coming out? I'm almost done. So exciting. Okay. So let's start with the very first question and I have them over here. So I'm going to be looking over here. First question is, do you get scared easily? I already gave that one away. Oh, also these are all swatches <laughs> because I was trying to decide what I wanted to do for my look. Also, um, a little ad for myself, I guess. I This whole month of October, I have on my Instagram been doing 31 days of Halloween makeup looks with Halloween palettes. And so this look will be going on that Instagram also. And so if you want to join my Instagram, it's also Bianca Skogan Beauty. And you can see my 31 days of Halloween makeup looks that I did. It's been really fun for me. I, I usually don't wear that much makeup, like makeup every single day. I haven't at least since I now work from home most of the time. And so I haven't worn as much makeup as when I've started working from home. So it's been a good excuse for me to wear makeup every day. I already stopped answering the questions. <laughs> I was hoping I could get this video and I'd be like, I'm going to make this video under half an hour. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. So do I get scared easily? I already gave that away. Yes. Yes, I do. I am so easily scared. I do not go to haunted houses because why would I pay someone to help me pee my pants? Like that doesn't sound fun. That, that doesn't. 
I, <laughs> the scariest Halloween movies I watch are like Hocus Pocus. I actually even think that Nightmare Before Christmas is too scary. Like, I, it's not like too scary that I'm like covering my eyes or anything, but I'm like, well, that's, that's creepy. We let our kids watch that. <laughs> I watched that as a child. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not like actually scared having nightmares, but I'm like, I watched that as a kid. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so yes, I'm a big scaredy cat and I actually also get scared easily like jump scares. Um, when I used to work in office, I would have people come up to say, you know, hi to me or whatever. And I'd be like, Oh, okay. Hi. Hey, what's up? <laughs> so they would have to like, try to like, be like, warn me before they were coming or like stomp or something like that. <laughs> so that they wouldn't scare me. Oh goodness. So yes, I do. I scare very easily. <sighs> Anyways, second question, what scares you the most? Okay, I think I could give two answers to this. Or let's give the like halloween -y answer, like spiders. I don't like spiders. Ugh. They actually, last night, I was in my kitchen and I, out of the corner of my eye, there was, I, it was big enough that I was a spider and it was big enough that it, I wasn't even looking and it moved. And I was like, big old like nickel size spider. So squish that guy. <laughs> if they're in my house, that's my role. If they're in my house, they die. If they're outside, they live because that's their home. Their home, they live in their home. In my home, that's my home, they die. <laughs> so that is like the Halloween answer, like spiders scare me. But the real number one answer, what scares me most would be losing my family. Um, I have my amazing husband, Kyle, who I have been married to for 17 years who I am obsessed with. I love him so much and my two kids. And if I lost them, I don't know what I would do with myself. I would become comatose. Like it would, I would not be okay. So that is what scares me the most, losing my family. I'm going to put on a eye primer. This is the Makeup by Mario Air eye primer. I actually have pan. This one I feel like is really easy to get pan because it's a cream, but Anyways, I have pan and I think that's cool. Okay, so question number three, what is your favorite Halloween tradition? That's a good one. You know, I actually haven't read these questions, so I probably should have and like come up with predetermined answers, but I didn't. My favorite Halloween tradition, carving pumpkins. I love to carve pumpkins. I actually put it on like our family shared calendar so that it makes sure to get done. <laughs> and my kids love it too. My kids always are like, when are we carving pumpkins? And I have to remind them, my daughter is 10 and my son is 14. And I have to remind them that we have to carve them as close to Halloween as possible or they start getting goopy. This is the Rare Beauty um, eyebrow primer. I brow gel so uh we love to carve pumpkins so all of us do and i'm one of those people who loves the stencil kits it's i've been using the stencil kits since i was a teenager and before that we just carved pumpkins and you know did uh jack jack lantern ja like faces we just did faces in them and the first time i used a stencil kit i was like that is the coolest thing i've ever seen i love that Yes, does it take the creativity out of it? Yes, it does. But it's so much fun. It's so much fun. I just love the stencils. So every year at the after Halloween, I buy that year's stencil kit. So I have it for next year because I get it for 50% off. And then I have the next year's stencil kit. So do I have, I have so many stencil kits. So every year when my family and I gather to do pumpkins, I bring out, you know, 20 books of stencil kits. And I'm like, okay, kids, pick a stencil kit and my son and daughter are getting to the point they're very creative and they're getting to the point where they're like eh I don't really want to use a stencil kit that's not very creative and I'm like okay that's fine okay so we're gonna get into this ghost town USA and we are going to start with this Skinner's salon this gray we're gonna go with a cool tone look which on my channel I don't do very often so and I actually talked about this look that I already made this look but I didn't show it on my channel. And so I'm going to recreate it and show it on my channel. Anyways, I told my kids about like, okay, if you're going to make your own um, stencil, you're going to make your own Halloween pumpkin. You have to think about like what pieces are going to come out and what pieces are going to leave in because 
it's hard to think like you have to visualize that because then it might just all fall out i remember one time when i was younger doing a green lantern pumpkin and i was like oh that'll be so easy like the green lantern symbol is so easy i didn't think about the connections and it just all fell out and i just had a circle <laughs> so i had to use toothpicks to get it all to connect and so they do really good and we always we watch hocus pocus or we listen to halloween music and and we just carve pumpkins and then we collect the pumpkin seeds even though every year my husband gives me he just gives me a hard time about it. he's like why do we do this because i cook them but then every year they go bad because i never eat them okay no there was one year where i ate all of them because i made them so good and i ate all of them and then every year after that i cooked them really bad i don't know what happened <laughs> they were so bad and so every year after that I have cooked up and they've just gone bad and so my husband every year is like why do you keep doing this why do you keep cooking pumpkin seeds why do we keep gathering all these pumpkin seeds they're just gonna go bad and I'm like no I'm gonna eat them this year so the tradition is every year we carve pumpkins with the stencils we gather the pumpkin seeds I cook them up and then they go bad and I throw them away <laughs> And we all know what's going to happen and I do it every year and it's just tradition. Yay! I took a really long time answering that one. <laughs> what is your go-to Halloween candy? This could get really dark really quickly because the next darkest color is this Dead Man's Hand or the Calamity Jane. I think I might just kind of go, I want to do my outer corner so I might just go and mix all three together and get an outer corner look. I haven't figured it out yet, but I do like that Dead Man's Hand is a little blue, so I, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do Dead Man's Hand and Skinner's Saloon. Yes, okay, there it is. That is nice. Whew, it is dark, and it has some fallout, but that's okay. We'll clean that up. Okay, my favorite Halloween candy, or my go-to Halloween candy. I think it's just my, like, my favorite candy. This, I feel like, is going to age me because my favorite candy is baby Ruth. <laughs> I feel like they're like Snickers bars, but better. They have more peanuts and they're just heartier. So I love baby Ruth. They're so good. And my favorite candy in general is Nerds Clusters. I, I, they might sell like little baggies of them for Halloween, but I don't, that's not as like Halloween friendly unless they have little baggies of them. And those are probably expensive. So, as of now, it is Baby Ruth's. Those are my favorite. Also, I'm just giving you everything, but candy corn. I love candy corn. I'm one of those weirdos that loves candy corn. It's so good, but only during Halloween and harvest time. You know, if you, I'm not, I'm, I'm not a weirdo that eats candy corn all year. Not that I would know how to get candy corn all year, but it just reminds me of Halloween, you know? Like I can imagine that if I didn't eat candy corn when I was little during Halloween, then trying to eat it now, I'd be like, yeah, this is terrible. <laughs> like if I weren't from the United States and I was came as an adult and someone gave me candy corn, I'd be like, what is this garbage you are feeding me? So I can imagine that. This is gonna need some cleanup, but it's coming together, I think. I'm just gonna have to clean it up a little bit. Question five, have you ever done a couple's costume or a group costume? Yes, so my sister, my older sister lives in Arizona. I'm in Utah, by the way. And my older sister lives in Arizona and there was she throws the biggest, best, coolest Halloween party because she's the, not just the queen of Halloween, she's the Hallow Queen is her, her name that she has adopted and like I love all holidays. I'm I'm the the holiday fairy of the family. I, I'm obsessed with all holidays, but she's obsessed with Halloween in general and she's just Halloween. <laughs> so she throws this massive Halloween party every other year because another friend throws it on the other year. Anyways, so we went one year. We drove all the way to Arizona just to go to this specific Halloween party. And so we had, and she does a Halloween costume contest and she makes the trophies for these, this contest. And like, she just, she goes all out. Let me tell you, she's the Halloween. queen. We had been planning since summertime, like I think like June, what we were gonna be. 
because we were like, we need to win this comp costume contest. We can't drive all the way from Arizona to not show up to this party and win this. And, and the other people who come to this contest or to this party also go all out. Like it's not, they all want these, these cute, awesome trophies that my sister makes. And so we were like, we're going to do this. We are going to show up and we're going to be awesome. So what did we show up as? Mermaids. <laughs> we were a mermaid family. Okay. My husband looks like a reincarnated Viking. He is six, seven. He's got a long beard, buzzed head. He, he, he's a re reincarnated Viking. I mean, my last name is Skogan, Viking, right? He has Norwegian heritage. Anywho, so he was kind of like a King Triton-esque going. So my son were, and my husband wore like mermaid leggings and my daughter and I wore a mermaid like skirts and we went all out. <laughs> we got like netting and like starfish and I used makeup and like we put fishnet stockings over our face and like put makeup on so that we could have the the makeup on like the the mermaid makeup oh my gosh it's actually if you go on my instagram i have a reel of our of our family so i am uh trying to advertise my instagram again i don't it's not like i'm getting paid for my instagram i just think it's fun <laughs> For you guys to see the pictures we did the this really really awesome and it was so funny seeing my husband and my son and my daughter and me as this mermaid family guess who won first place we did <laughs> like i was so glad we did if we didn't it would have been fine but it was like everybody was like you guys this costume is so fun like how they were like you came all the way from arizona to like knock us all out of the park and we were like well like i feel like if we did it we would have talked like if we had been planning since like June we had to knock everyone out of the <laughs> anyways here I'm using the NYX glitter glue and so it was just so much fun it was so much fun so that was our group costume the next question question six are you superstitious not really no I don't think I am it's just not really how I roll. That was a hard question. I didn't really know how to answer it because no, I'm really just not. I feel like all the other questions I got in nitty gritty and this one, I'm just like, no, boring. <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm not. Okay. Um, I didn't tell you I'm using Quicksilver. Do you believe in ghosts? Huh? I don't know. I am going to say that I don't not believe in ghosts. They could be around. There are so many people who have claimed to have seen them. So they could be around. I'm going to say that I, it's a possibility, but I'm not going to say like, I strictly am like, yes, I believe in ghosts. I've seen one, but I don't know. I've never seen one, but I'm not going to be like, no, there are no ghosts. There could be, I've never seen one. It would be sad. If there were ghosts, that is a sad situation. So like for people to be, around haunting people that that's a sad situation so I kind of hope there aren't ghosts because that seems sad to me okay so the next one have you ever been to a haunted house real or entertainment yes I said that I don't really do that but in college I was swindled by a cute boy <laughs> and he was like come on let's go to this haunted house it'll be fun Honestly, I think I blocked it out because I don't remember. Like I am trying to really like remember the details of this haunted house because it's the only one I've been to. And I'm like, I should be able to like remember this haunted house because it's the only one I've been to. But I think I was so scared that it has like, you know how you can sometimes push away like bad memories. <laughs> I think I <laughs> pushed that one out of my mind. <laughs> Um, we did go to like a little baby one, um, in our hometown that we're in right now, there was a tiny, tiny one, like run by like students at the high school. My son wanted to go in it and it only had two rooms. We went in and I had my kids go first because it was kind of for 
uh, teenagers ish. My daughter was 10, but like kid, older kids, let's say. And so I was pretending to be all brave and be like, here you go. And so they scared my son and my daughter, like they were scared. And I was like pretending to be all tough and like, ha 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 ha. <laughs> I was terrified, but I was pretending not to be terrified. And so then, at, and there was only two rooms and it was so like the most minimal haunted house you could ever imagine. But that was pretty, <laughs> that was pretty scary for <sighs> how much I don't like haunted houses. I really like this next question. It says, your favorite horror monster or villain? Okay, so since I don't watch horror movies, I'm going to give you my favorite villain. And I, it's not even, like, he is a villain, but in my head, he's not even really a villain. It's Hades, like from Hercules, Hades, slash Greek, Greek, and, well, Greek mythology, Hades. Hades and Persephone, H-A-D-E-S, Hades. Hades is the Lord of the Underworld. And okay, he is a villain in Hercules, the, the show, the cartoon that came out when I was young. And so he isn't a villain, he's bad. And technically in the, the, the myth, the Roman myth, he kidnaps Persephone. And you know, it's, it's not super a willing situation. So, um, He's, he is a villain, yes. But because I have a romantic heart, my some of my favorite like romance, I love the like romance books about Hades and Persephone. And I choose to believe that he was just put into, oh my gosh, I sound like a psycho. Um, he is not a villain and he just loved Persephone and um, he's just a broody, wounded, dark, handsome man. <laughs> So yeah, I uh, love Hades. We actually named our dog. We have a um, a black golden retriever slash border collie, and we named him Hades because I love Hades. <laughs> He's my favorite. So villain or not, I love Hades. There you go. There's my answer to that question. Okay, the next question, number eleven, is have you ever played with a Ouija board? And I think you guys can answer that question all on your own. I'm using a sugar drizzle pen and, or it's a, it's a duochrome like eyeliner pen. And the, I want to get some more brightness in this inner corner. Yes. Awesome. Okay. So the answer, have you ever used a Ouija board? No, I don't like to be scared. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm a scaredy cast. No. <laughs> question 12. What was your favorite Halloween costume as a kid? Oh, that is such a good one. I love that one. There's some really good ones on here. Okay, I love these questions because there's some really good ones for scaredy cats like me because we're talking about the group costumes and then there's some really good ones for people who are actually like thriller people who love Halloween horror movies. Not that I'm saying there's anything wrong with those people. Good job for not being a scaredy cat. <laughs> I am my favorite Halloween costume as a kid. I was the Statue of Liberty. So we went to the Statue of Liberty as a family when I was like eight, maybe. And because my uncle lived in upstate New York. And so we went to go visit him and we went to the Statue of Liberty and I was begging for one of the Statue of, Statue of Liberty hats, begging my parents. And my parents didn't let us get a lot of souvenirs. I had four sisters and so, they just, they didn't let us get a lot of souvenirs because if they bought one, they would have to buy five and it was just, they didn't, they didn't do that a lot. So I'm going to use the ColourPop. This is the cream gel liner in Joyride. I'm going to put this underneath. I might be putting a couple. There's another one, the ColourPop one in Piggy Bank. I think I might be putting this one from ColourPop also. This one is in Acting Up. I might, I'm, I don't know. Then we're going to interchangeably use some of these. Okay. I wanted one of those hats so bad. So I kind of was swindling my parents, right? I was like, I want to go as the Statue of Liberty for Halloween. If, and so they were like, okay, well, if that's why you want one of these, then we'll get this for you. And I was like, did that work? <laughs> okay, great. And so they bought me the 
Statue of Liberty little hat thingy, headband hat thing. This was back in the 90s, and so my mom made our Halloween costumes. So she used her sewing machine, and she made me like green wraps of fabric, and we put tons of green fabric and, and draped it on me to be the Statue of Liberty, and I had a flashlight that was her torch, and we put like green around it, and we put flames around it, and I had my headband on, and I was the Statue of Liberty, and I think we also painted my face green. I remember so many people giving me compliments that year because it was like, people were like, you're so creative, look at you, that's such a good costume, and I remember just feeling like a million dollars because it was such a creative costume and it all came out of swindling my parents but i just remember loving that costume it was my favorite and to this day i remember that costume and how much i loved that costume number 13 the last question and guess who's almost done with my look me the last question is be honest do you really only take one piece of candy if the sign says only take one yes I am notoriously a rule follower. I follow all of the rules. And I like, I'm personally one of those people who likes a color by number coloring book because I like need to even have rules when coloring. <laughs> so I like following the rules. We actually, two years ago, um, we were out trick or treating with our kids and I put a sign up, I put a bowl out and I put a sign up that said, please take one. And we had our, we have a, a ring camera and we saw on the ring camera, some teenage girls come by and they took the entire bowl and they shoved it in their pillowcases and ran off. And I was so mad. And you know who was more mad? My kids. My kids were devastated because we got robbed. I was so mad because I didn't have any more candy. That was all the candy. And it was, I was surprised because the year before I had done the same thing and it was fine. It had gone fine. All the, we had candy left over when we came back. And so I just was naive and I didn't think anything would happen. Well, gone. Candy was all gone and we saw it on the ring camera. So I had to run inside. I grabbed a whole bunch of like breakfast bars and, and neutral grain bars and like granola bars and shoved them in the bowl because we needed something there. And you know, it, it worked out, but I was, I was devastated. So yes, I always only take one because the consequences can be dire if you don't. <laughs> I finished the look. I put on mascara and lipstick. My lipsticks are these Sephora lipsticks. I don't think they sell these anymore and I love them. I have so many like fun colors because of these. These are like the lip stories. This one is in grind. It's kind of, I have that one in the middle. It's like a periwinkle color. And this one is in city beat. It's like in the outer corners. It's just like a navy. I just love these. They were so like, I think they were like eight bucks and a lot of the time they would go on sale. Anyways, I don't think they have them anymore. I answered all the questions. This was a really fun collab video I got to do. And if you go from my video to any of the other videos, say hi from me. Tell them um, I sent you, Dubs Beauty and Melissa Nadeline and any of the other ones. I don't know about any of the other ones. Those are the only two I know about. I have a playlist though. I've been sent the playlist and I'm going to add this video to the playlist of everybody that got sent this collab. And so watch, watch the other videos from this collab and maybe we could send some highs to the video, the people for, for this collab. I hope you all have a happy Halloween and I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did like this video, if you want to see more from me, subscribe to my channel. If you want to be notified of my videos, push the bell. And most importantly, be nice to yourself because you're amazing. Have a great day. Bye.